Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 363. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 358 to 369. Hey, 363, 364, 365 all have this in common. We need to find the first non blank. In this one, we want the address. So for here, we want B10. Here, we want E12. So we want to return those. In subsequent ones, we'll see how to return the value. Now, this is from a post at the Mr. Excel message board from back in 2003. Uh, so here it is. Here We're going to start off by using the address function. Address. Now, the address function will give this an address. If you give it a row number, a column number, and then tell it what kind of cell reference you want, it'll return that. So if I typed 2, comma, 2, comma, and then 4 means relative, it would give me uh, B2 because that's the second column and second row. But now we don't want that. We want it dynamic, so as we copy it down. Well, the row number is easy. We just give it the row function without an argument, and it will always give us the right row, the row you're in, 9, 10, 11, etc. Comma. The, co the column part, we're going to have to get a little tricky here. Look down here. What if we could say, um, are any of these cells right here not blank? would get a true, 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 true. Here we would get a false. In this row right here, we get a bunch of falses and one true. So we have to deal with the fact that we might get a bunch of trues. Now we're going to link those trues to column numbers. So in essence, here's B, um, C, D, etc., which is what the address function want. If we could somehow link all those trues and falses to these column numbers, we'd still have a problem because we get column 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, but if we use the min, M-I-N function, then we could extract from all of the column numbers the minimum column number, and that's what we want for the first blank. So we're going to say min, then we're going to say if, and the if will give us that range, and then less than, greater than, not, double quote, blank. So we're asking, please show me all the ones that are blank. That gives us the trues and falses. Here it would be true, uh, false and a bunch of trues comma, the thing we want to return, there's the trues and falses for the if, the thing we want to turn is column. And then we can just highlight this range right here. So right now, if you're th thinking about this construction if column here, it's going to give us uh, a false, but here it will give us true, which in turn will give us uh, column 3, 4, 5, 6. So 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, but now we close parentheses because on the uh, if we don't need the false, that gives us our array inside the min. Well, right now if I highlight it, it's it's uh, there aren't any non-blanks in essence according to this one right here. Uh, so we're going to get an error, which we'll deal with in a moment. Close parentheses on the min, but down here you can imagine this would be three, so it'll return a three. Now we've that's our construct min if column for our column comma and then for a reference I'm going to put four there's one through four for the four different types of cell reference close parentheses control enter and then I'm going to uh, uh, put it into edit mode because this is an array formula you have to hold control shift and enter you can see that curly bracket right there which means it's an array formula drag it down and sure enough we get B10, uh, E2, etc. Let's just run through Formula Evaluator on this one to see how this works. I'm going to hit Alt T U F, tough, Alt tough, uh, evaluate. So it's got row 18 because we're in row 18. Evaluate, you can see it's got that underlined right there. So it's got a bunch of trues and falses. C evaluate. Evaluate again, and now you can see we get false three, four, five, six, which is exactly what we had down right here. The min will take the three, boop, and then now we have our address, row 18, column three, and please give me relative. Now, if you wanted to, you could uh, put something around this, some if construction. I'm going to use 2007 if error. It's just an amazing function. One of the reasons we should get 2007. And don't forget 2010 is coming out soon. There it is. It just takes the uh, whatever it is that's given an error or not. You come to the end and it says, you type a comment, it says, what do you want if it's an error? Double quote for blank, close parentheses. Now I'm going to have to re-enter this as an array formula. Control, Shift, and Enter. 
double click and send it down. So there you have returning the address of the first non-blank. When we come back, we'll see a much different formula for returning the value. See you next trick.